Hey, what's up guys? Saturday morning. A little bit of a different style of video today. And uh, you can see we are we are uh, here in the DFW Metroplex suburb of Mansfield, about 20 miles from Fort Worth. And uh, check it out, man, a machine shop in this beautiful home, beautiful neighborhood. And uh, there's Martin, the Texas gun guy. Some of you know him. He's been on my channel and he's got his own YouTube channel and he's really active in Facebook and Instagram and and uh, also just the YouTube community he participates and contributes so uh, Martin though has decided to sell out he's a sellout I'm a sellout it's all gotta go he's gonna go uh, buy a yacht he's decided that life is short and he's gonna go sailing for a little while, you know, a few years. And he's got some cool plans, looking at some boats that are between 60 feet and 100 and, five. What was that? 105 <laughs> feet. 105 foot yacht. I don't do small things. <laughs> I don't do things small. As you can see, I have a 27 inch uh, South Bend Tornado here and then very speed mill. So this lathe is a 27 inch, what's the power set up i mean what are you running for power? Uh, right now i'm only running a five horsepower motor on it it's supposed to have at least a 10 7 minimum but uh to get all the all the speed out of it i don't bother i don't i don't need to speed spin anything that big that fast yeah so a five horsepower in my little shop here is good enough so it's got a it'll it's, it'll swing 27 inches here yes sir 27 inches to center um and the reason it's got the sh the six foot bed is it was on a mobile mobile military machine shop it was for fixing tanks in combat <laughs> and what's the vintage on this one what year do you think this is a 1986 vintage model and if you look at the serial number it says bed length six uh catalog number special, special. <laughs> so a special lathe for a special guy right here there you go <laughs> it's got all the standard change gears for cutting standard threads. And then if you look down here, I don't know if you can see down there, it's got all the metric thread uh, gear, gears. change gears. Comes with all the arbors here, all the, all the big ass arbors you see here. And that's not a little arbor, that is a humongous arbor. And it, it'll do that one and all the way down to this one here. Ouch, it's got a complete set. It all comes with it. It has a Jacobs uh, collet chuck head, the rubber, the rubber collet chucks, and uh, a lot of tooling's going to go with it. You got your, it's five Morris taper, so again, it's not little. You got your Jacobs chuck, four jaw chuck, three jaw chuck. It's got all the collets, brand new in the boxes, all the way up to a quarter, all the way down, and then uh, it's got a little bit of everything. So if you're looking for a lathe and you need something, you know, pretty decent power and capability, but you don't have a lot of room, this is like perfect, perfect. you know, yeah. because it's got the little six foot bed, which is good for most anything you'd want to do in a regular shop. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's the nice thing about it is, is you can, like they say, you can do small stuff on a big lathe, but you can't do big stuff on a small lathe. Yeah. That's, that's, and that's when very I say, true. Here you go. Here, step back a second. Let me show you this little setup I got here. Okay, I'll put that in there, and that's how I'll do my small stuff. Yep. If I have a video out there where I cut some pins to plug a lock to do lock for locksmithing, I cut locksmithing pins with this here, and you'll see it on there. What is that? A three-inch chuck? Uh, Four-inch? Something like yeah, that? Yeah, three-inch. Three, yeah, three-inch. <laughs> <laughs> three-inch. Yeah, there you go. Um, and so, yeah, but it comes with that forge all chuck, the collet chuck, uh, lathe dog driver down there. It's got uh, all of those things. It'll come with all the all the lathe dogs down here, extra extra post holder. So for turning between centers. For turning between centers. And, yes, and this has got the A bomb seventy nine style tool changer, right? Which yes, is sir. And that is <laughs> that's that's in case you need to turn a gun. A, a tank gun barrel right there. A huge <laughs> lathe dog there. 
So what is this thing called? Um, what's that, this? that is called a, our dang gummit. I hate that. See, two seconds ago, yeah, I would have been able to tell you. Well, he says it all the time in his videos. But I it's, know. It's, a, it's really, you know, nicely indexable because of the, the ratcheting right. or the gearing it's on the it. Swiss made. This one was actually made in West Germany. It's the, uh, oh, man. So while Martin's thinking about that, I was going to yeah. mention that he he's selling out all this stuff for sale. Right now, it's not posted online. If you... Uh, I'll have uh, contact information in, in the description if you're interested in it. He wants to get this stuff to a good home, some of the YouTube uh, community online. Uh, it's everything in my garage. The lathes, the tools, the tool bits, everything except there's a few small things that have been promised to other people that haven't showed up yet. Right. I'll sell it all with the list of cabinet right there. All the bits and everything in the list of cabinet. Screws, nuts, bolts, everything. The mill, the air compressor, the welder. So let's see about the mill real quick. What do you got going here? So this is a Bridgeport very speed mill. It needs tuning up because I'm a hack. Okay, so it needs tuning up. But you did a restoration on this, right? Yes, sir. I completely redid the whole thing. I didn't scrape or do the ways or anything like that because I'm not equipped or knowledge. Oh yeah, for, forget that. It'll stay there. Um, so this, and when I say all the all the bits and everything here step back a second back to the list of cabinet it comes with everything and when i say everything i'm i'm talking mill cutters holy cow <laughs> i'm talking mill cutters and all the stuff to do setups and everything just a lot of everything lock stock and barrel you need to donate that to the cause ramsey custom shop could use those <laughs> you know what ramsey customs may get a couple of those anyway <laughs> so but here's the forge all chuck for it. It comes, you get all the grinders. You get, for 15 grain, you get everything. And I mean everything. Well, let's talk about the mill a little bit more. You see, you did the very speed head. And, and we built the very speed head. This has got all new bearings in it. This has got all brand new bearings in it. It sounds and runs great, okay? It's not, it's the little things on it that are killing me. And this the, is this the two horsepower version or? Yes, this is a two and a half horse, actually. Two and a half horse, okay. Two and a half horse head. Is it three phase? Three phase, and I, I'm running a uh, VFD. Or... I'm running a, a Titan GS five horsepower VFD. This thing powers both my lathe and my mill, and my cutter tool grinder. And over there is another mill, which is a. We'll uh, look at that in a second. Yeah, we'll get to that. <laughs> and then, uh, but it powers everything. And uh, when I bought that, the guy said I could literally run both of these at the same time on it, and he guaranteed that. And I said, you're full of crap. And then he said, well, talk to the engineers because that's what they told me. I talked to the engineers and they said, yeah, you're good to go. But I ain't doing it because it was $400. But you get everything. It runs this here. You got a Kurt Vice. You got my new special patented speed, quick to speed handle for your lathe or for your daggum vice handle here. Uh, you any, get that too. Any power feed on it or? Yeah, as much power as you put into it, as much power <laughs> you're going to get out of it. <laughs> so I think no. you said he was looking to get 2500 for this setup with all the tooling. and No, no, no. Not no, the tooling. No tooling. Just 2500 just the, for the mill. Just the mill, okay. And the vice, as you see it. Mill and the vice, I got That's you. That's it. And I'll throw in those collets and those those drill chops. Now, if you're, if you're in the New England states where Bridgeport is, you're probably going to say, well, that's not that good of a deal. But if you're in Texas... $2,500 for a Bridgeport? There, it's unheard Bridgeport of. Bridgeport Very Speed with a Kurt Vice. A Kurt Vice. I mean, that's a that's a three dollars $400 vice all day long used, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Absolutely. And, so, it, you know, everything everything works on it. It's just, you know, it needs to be tweaked. Uh, my wife got sick. I got sick. And, uh, you know, I was like, what the hell am I doing? So I'm selling out and buying a boat, and I'm going to sail sell the Caribbean and maybe go to Europe and sell through Europe and the Danube, all those rivers there. Got a Forge all Chuck. I don't give a crap anymore. It's all done. It's all done. This, this means nothing. What matters is my wife and life and and uh, we're just going to go make it happen. So that's what's going on there. Now, well, it is amazing how you can get consumed with machinery and tooling and make that your life. And then you realize that when, it's you can always get more if you decide to Go do your sailing thing, and then get a shop. Maybe five years down the road, you can. You, they they're still going to have. Maybe I'll put a shop in my in my ship. I don't care. I don't know. But all I know is is that uh, it's that time in my life to where I need to go do something different. 
Yep. And uh, I love machining. I always love machining, but it's all got to go. But like I said, everything. Here's the 27 inch face plate that goes with the lathe. And, that is just that is crazy. And Adam Booth made a welding table out of one of these, and yeah. it's literally I think it's the same one. If you ask me, but uh, yeah, it's 27 inch face plate there. He's got a, one of those Yazoo. What is it? A rotary table. Yes, sir. Well, that was sharp as shit, wasn't it? Uh, it's a, oh crap. It's a Y-A, Y-U-A-S-A. Yusu, Japanese, but it's, it's got all the indexing plates with it. It's got a 10 inch face plate that goes with it. It's got the three jaw adjustable chuck that goes with it. Everything, I'll sell it all for 15 grand. And that's a steal. This is a 50 ton press. That's a 17 ton press. So you got two presses here in one. One's kind of affixed to the other and you got a single I cylinder. I got a single manual hydraulic ram here that you adjust and you switch it back and forth to hoses and you can press whatever you want out with it. And you got, I got extra of these. You can raise this up and down if you want. If you want to put something big in there or something small in there, it'll go all the way down to the ground. You got holes all the way down. Yeah, that looks, uh, looks so, heavy duty, 50 ton, huh? Yes, sir. That was a 50 ton press. And it was, it was, this is a mounting bracket where it was mounted in the back of a machine shop trailer for the military. <laughs> yeah. Surplus. So he's also got quite a bit of tooling taps. I mean, look at this taps, more taps, more taps, 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 taps. taps and taps. I mean, he's got the, you know, just the regular uh, three flute, three flute type. He's got the ones that are like you see in the C high speed uh, CNC machine type uh, oh what do they call those uh, spiral flute yeah high, high helix flute uh, high helix taps flute. Uh, got tapping head got one of these here quick change tapping heads where you can swap swap your taps out real quick and you'll drill a hole and once it gets down there once it gets to the end it'll spin if it hits something tight it just starts spinning freewheeling so you don't break your taps off in it which is really nice and you just you can change your tap you can change your change your tap handles you can change it all it's all quick change it's great you got all the little heads for it and everything and then when it comes to milling tools and mill yes. cutters i have mill cutters out the kazoo or mill mill bits and, and these are things that you can just come pick through find what you want pick you out a bundle and he'll give you a price on it or, like I said, you can buy it all. Buy it all, which is, yeah, he'd probably prefer that. <laughs> I'd prefer somebody come and buy it all for 15 grand. Because I'll get more than that if I sell it by the part, but I could care less about selling stuff by the part. I yeah. I'd rather just, hell, that one's empty. That one's empty. Okay, go. Now, you got small ones up here. This, these, are the, these are the ones that have all the expensive stuff in there. Little Woodruff key cutters and... Right, and... and I mean, they got it's all of them. So you got the chamfer bolts and all that, and over here you got all your all your uh, center drills. Thank you. Good lord. <laughs> it's a little hot today. It's only about 120 degrees in the shop. Yeah, it's hot here in Texas. You got here's your carbide bits. These are all solid carbide. Nice five pound collar there, and then. Uh, All right, so tell us about this mill you got over here that's kind of in progress. I see okay, this some, mill, uh, some 50 taper. It's a 50 taper. It needs a motor. I'll tell you what, let me, you're backlit. Let me go around this way. You stay there. All I'm right. going to go get the sun behind me, and we'll get a better look at it. Now, those of you that watch Martin's channel will know that he's always got the sun backlit behind him in all of his videos, but we're going to try to do a little more. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm not a videographer. I'm, I'm not a machinist. I'm a hack. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna put his contact info in the link of the video. If you see anything you gotta have, just, well, just want, just, throw me an offer. I'm like a hooker. I'm easy, not cheap, just easy. Uh, so what kind of machine is this? Uh, Kearney, this is Kearney a tractor. It's a it's a modern standard, made in Canada, horizontal and vertical mill. It's got both the horizontal head or vertical head. So here's the, the vertical head up, sitting up here on the, the table. The vertical head is sitting right there. It's got a a six inch bridgeport vice on it i got a 10 inch vice down there 10 inch ch uh, chinglish vice for it ah falling falling and then uh 
There's the five horsepower motor that was in this thing. You can use it if you can find somebody that'll wire it up. Right now it's wired for 480 volts and it needs to be wired for 220 to get it to work right. But it's all hydraulic. Now this thing will do, it has all your power feeds on it built into it. That's why I got it, because I'm fat, old, and lazy and I wanted power feed. And unfortunately for me, I never got around to putting a good motor in it. So you started the rebuild on this, I, right? I, I, wasn't even going to rebuild it because it's all in such good shape. I wasn't going to rebuild right. anything. It does look good. I mean, it's, it's 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 it will do anything and everything you need it to do with the five horsepower motor. It really will. So it there's is, the fifty taper horizontal spindle slot, and then yeah. Now see these these aren't just regular ones either. These fifty tapers are like this one is a boring head, and it's a two. That is crazy. This boring head has got. Two, two heads on it. It's got two cutter bits. You got one here and one here. So you cut your small one, you'll cut your first internal taper to get it to size on the inside. And then when it comes time to put your radius on the edge, it's already got a radius bit on there. So that's like for, for production work. Sort yes, of. sir. Production work. And I've got a bunch of those heads just like that. I got some short ones, some shallow draft. I got, uh, this one is, is, well, this one's a special one that was made. But, uh, and then you got some of these throat ones here for for regular your regular uh, mill bits here and stuff like that. And then there's another one that'll do two. That's got two bits in it. If you can see that. Yep. It's got two carbide bits on it. And That's then, awesome. Uh, I've not I've not seen anything like that before. And then here's just your standard your standard single single uh, tool holder tool holder yeah like a one inch or three right quarter and then or i got a bunch of those and, and it, well, not a bunch there's there's a few of those and then uh but this is all hydraulic it all runs off of oil and uh it works great it, it's got it's got built-in coolant pump on it it's got uh your built-in hydraulic pump and like i said it just needs a motor and the only reason the motor's not in it is because it's a 480 volt motor and everything i got is 220. So just an FYI, this is the Ramsey. This is, you know, I'm broke. I don't have any money. This is what I can afford. Martin took me up with a really good deal on some uh, drill bits that are larger than half inch, which I need. And, and now, a few taps and a few rod ends and just some miscellaneous things like that. Oh, he's got a bunch of cutters too here. These are all brand new cutters. Most of these have never been used. You've these. already given me a few of those. You yeah. Brought I a, you brought me a little few samples of those. Yeah, I did. I, I hooked you up with a few. And then, uh, I got one gear cutter. That's the only thing I don't have is a set of gear cutters, which is odd, but true. So anyway, there you go. It's a 17 minute video here. Guys, I just uh, thought I'd bring you this today. If you have any interest in uh, the two uh, mills, the lathe, any of the tooling, um, kind of cool to see, you know, a, a neighborhood with a machine shop in it like this. It's uh, it's pretty cool. So do you uh, miss it. look for the big Texas flag? Yeah, so he's got a He's a proud Texas guy, as am I. So uh, check it out. Uh, check out the link to his contact information and hit him up if you see anything you want. See you guys. Thanks, Jerry.